Hey guys, we're back with this week's episode of The Chubby Bartenders! Chad, nice shirt. He's got his Joey Burrow attire on here for today. Yes, I'm up here for all the kids in Athens, Ohio. Is that what it says? Something like that. In Athens County? All right. So, Chad, what are we doing this week? You know what, man? We had a great episode there talking Tremendous. about... Tremendous talking about avoiding the bloat. The beating the bloat. But I, I, I felt like we should take it a step further. A lot of times, you're enjoying a nice bush latte, what I would call in the field. In the field. Yeah, out of a cooler. Oh, right, it, like a, like you're saying, like a picnic? Yeah, cans. Cans, and tailgates. Yeah, tailgates, family reunions. Fishing. Fishing. Anything. You know, whatever. Whatever, working. Out working after a hard day. Nothing Depending on where cool. you work. Yeah, Depending yeah, on where yeah, you work. Right, yeah. right, right. And, uh, Saturday, probably after hours. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what we're looking at here is when you're drinking out of cans, generally, if it's a field day, you're going to be out for a while, you're probably going to drink 10 to 12 beers, maybe. I don't know. Depends on your tolerance. We'll see. But we'll the see. thing about drinking it out of a can is there's the glug factor. So you're saying whenever you tip that beer up, <laughs> yep, you're swallowing a lot of air, my friend. A lot of air, a lot of air. Well, I've got a tried and true trick Let's that see I've it. used for years that I want to share. Well, so it's educational. And, yes, and, and and ladies and gentlemen, it's as easy as this. Now, what kind of beer will you use today? <laughs> what other kind <laughs> of beer? Bush lattes. Bush lattes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now this little tool right here. I hope you can see it real good on the camera. It is just your standard. It's your standard 99 cent yeah, bottle opener. Bottle opener. I want to look at the pointed side here. What do we do with the pointed side? And I like to refer to this little number as my handle. Your handle, okay. I never leave home without it. It's always right always there in the right front there. pocket. Absolutely. Well, here's the trick, okay? When you open your can, when you're in the field, let's avoid that glugging. So, let's see if I can get it to glug. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, see the little, see the little air bubble there. Absolutely. Yep. Look okay. at that. So you've swallowed air. Yeah. I've, There's only a couple ways I that comes that. out. That, that's a couple ways that comes out. Bro. Okay. <laughs> now, this handle can turn this can into a glass when you're in the field, and it's as simple as this. You apply the handle right behind the tab. Poke down, make your little triangle. Try it now, Pudge, and tell me if it's smooth or whether you experience that glug. Hmm. No glug. How about that? That is smooth. Yes. So we've you've basically taken all the bloatedness that we had that was coming down the old hatch. Yes. And now you're taking it back out the back end, giving it a vent. Absolutely. We're now, turning that can into that glass that's sitting right there. Now, let's see if you kept the head. That will be important. Because right? you know what we're trying to do. Because we just we just looked at that last week. We're trying to beat the bloat. Yeah. Let's see. Always beating the bloat. Oh, and it looks like uh, guys, we've still got a, 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 nice, there. a nice, I mean, now we've drank a little bit out of yeah. it, so you're not going to get all of that head, but we've still got a little head there. That's delicious. Really no different than out of the can. No different. I mean, that is just delicious. The handle, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next week, guys, with another tip from the Chubby Bartenders, and we're going to get into whiskeys. So, Chad, what's our saying going to be next week? Know, know your, your whiskeys. whiskeys. Use your handle. High five.